Hey guys, how are you doing? I've got something new for you. The last few weeks I've been playing with uh, the Wim Hof method. If you don't know Wim Hof, his nickname is the Iceman. He climbed the Mount Everest with only his shorts on, with no shirt, and I think barefoot. The Wim Hof method consists of two parts. One is the breathing and one is cold exposure. Right now I'm experimenting with the breathing. I will start, well, I started cold exposure today and I will make a second part. I want you to tell what I found out about the breathing part. It seems that you can oversaturate your body with oxygen and to make your the pH level of your blood more alkaline. And why would you want to do that? Sounds not very healthy, right? Oversaturating your body. But it seems that if you over-oxygenize your tissue, you increase the conductivity of your blood and of your lymphatic system so that information from your brain, which is mainly electrical, is transported into deeper layers of your body. Science thought that it is not possible to control the primitive brain or let's say the primitive, your primitive system, breathing, heartbeat, your defensive system against diseases. Science thought it is not possible to influence these things merely by your mind, but it is. In this short clip, Wimov explains how breathing can influence the transport of neural information throughout your body. Um, when you're breathing like that, why do you think that allows you to begin to reconnect to something that everyone will call the autonomic system, meaning that you don't have conscious control over it? How does that link it? Yes, uh, uh, very simple. Uh, these breathing techniques I've learned to do in extreme cold. So they are extremely effective. Very soon I was able to stay and prolong my time in ice water, feeling great. But is the breath just about oxygenating the tissues? Ox uh, oxygenating, not only to go past, in this case, uh, to go past the lymphatic knots, uh, which normally inhibits the, uh, the oxygen to go deeper. Now we found a way to go past these knots into the lymphatic system. And with that, you come into the depth of your body and making you able to alkalize your blood within a couple of minutes. And with that, a, when the uh, blood is the right pH degree, then suddenly the neurology of the mind, which is el like electricity, is able to run through on a subtle basis. And then uh, they, say, they asked me, hey, uh, Wim, what is enlightenment? Because I never asked it, but I have to ask you, because it seems you got some answers. I say, well, okay. Whole Bibles and Korans are written about that shit. So I tell you in one sentence what it is. Just be happy, strong and healthy and the rest is bullshit. <laughs> yes, the, the way we are schooled is to take on that autoimmune diseases, cancer, depression and alike and power, gaining power and being insensitive is normal. I think it is sick. And we got to stand up and show through scientific uh, uh, research that uh, no, uh, no speculation that it is not so. So one part is alkalizing your blood and make your body more conductive to neural information, which are electrical signals, basically. The second part is opening your lymphatic knots for the transport of oxygen and to provide oxygen to deeper parts of your body. Uh, Wim Hof says that, well, also your lymphatic system gets alkalized and that your lymphatic system is, uh, its purpose or one of its purposes is to remove poison from your body and that poison gets stored in your lymphatic knots. 
and that through breathing, through opening your lymphatic knots, you can remove the poison, you can remove the, the acidity. Watch this. <laughs> this is a, bi a biochemical professor, and he tells, uh, looking at the results, what you have produced with the university, uh, regarding to the immune system and influencing into the autonomic nervous system, we can say uh, you guys have found a way to tap into the tissue, into the lymphatic system, and take away the acidity over there. And, uh, and the storage capacity of the lymphatic system, at that deeper level than the blood, is actually a storage capacity to have chemistry uh, 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 which is wrong, is stored up over there so it doesn't mess with the rest of the physiology to maintain functionality. So, but in time, you got to deal with it. It's like garbage. Uh, the, uh, that acidity chronically there, not being dealt with, uh, this professor, my biomedical professor, tells us that 95% uh, of the autoimmune diseases are caused because of it. A long time... Mm -hmm. presence of acidity not being dealt with will deal with you in the end and deregulate say the chemistry in the rest of the body so let's conclude you can through breathing open up your body for information from your mind to actively influence its processes now this probably takes decades to master they made a research project where they infected uh, people with uh, well with a virus the only ones that cured the virus by itself in less than an hour were the people who were trained by Wim Hof all right enough science how do you use Wim Hof breathing there's a very good video on uh, YouTube. I will put a link in the description. It's a good introduction to Wim Hof breathing. I started with it and after three days I stopped using it because it's very in individual. For example, the breathing in the guide is too fast for me and there's not enough breathing. Um, I need to breathe more to attain a level of oversaturation and I started with the video and it was pretty interesting it was feeling good I I felt a little bit of tingling and so on and in the last two weeks I was able to go deeper and deeper to saturate my body more and more for example yesterday I was able to this is crazy I was able to numb my whole body except my heart, my lungs, and my brain. Here's a picture of the lymphatic system. As you can see, it is, well, running through the whole body. You can see the tiny circles, which are the knots, and those you can open with oversaturation. When you do that, your body starts releasing adrenaline. Why that is, I don't know, but it feels awesome. <laughs> After your breathing session, you feel like you're reborn. And the more oversaturation I achieve, the more reborn I feel. It really is a state of getting yourself high without drugs. I wonder if by doing that, you put your body in a survival mode. I always ask myself what the point of meditation is. It was never appealing to me. Uh, I think now I understand. Meditation is basically breathing with music and low pace sport. And the most important part is breathing and feeling your body. Well, the essence of that is the Wim Hof method. And I don't know if there is a limit. I don't think you can kill yourself with breathing. That would be pretty stupid. But you can do crazy things. The main reason why I'm doing it is to have a sharp mind. And I don't think I don't think there's anything better to clear your mind from things that doesn't belong there. 
mentally and physically, then this breathing session and the cold shower afterwards. <laughs> you can try it out. Start with the guide I posted and then explore your body. Try things out. Try to oversaturate your tissues more and more. Try to get high if you want and see how it influences your life. I think it's one of the best things and it's one of the easiest things to do. You don't need anything for it other than practice. Thank you for watching. Have a nice evening.